Let's just address the fact that the camera makes me look like Snow White, whereas in person I'm actually like a golden color right now. I promise you guys I've been outside and I've seen the sun recently. Everyone else is like the camera makes me look tan and I'm like my camera makes me look pale. So August has come to an end which means the summer's over and that's really sad. Let's take a second for the fallen homies and by fallen homies I mean summer. Is that that's how you say it right? Okay let's just take that second. Summer has ended, we have accepted that I hope by now, and yeah, I've been back in school actually for a whole week now and I'm home for Labor Day. Now I just want to get out of the way, I haven't fully decided what happened with 50 videos of summer. I hit like 40 I think or 45 at this point, and to be honest I just would rather have videos go up throughout the month of September so that way you guys still have videos for the whole month of September and then just focus on having my last 10 videos for 50 videos of summer. So sadly I think the 50 videos of summer is over. There are still some things that I have to upload that I had intended for 50 videos of summer. But yeah, so I really apologize. I think that I did a really good job as far as someone tackling like a consistent video schedule for the first time in their whole YouTube kind of life. I hope that none of you guys hold me against that. If you guys follow me on Twitter then you guys know that I've kind of been struggling like managing things and then I had to go back to school and then I had to come back and then I had to pack so I didn't like upload when I was supposed to. Yeah, it's just been a mess. But anyway, let's just get straight into what I loved throughout the month of August. So the first thing that I really loved in August was actually doing a messy bun or a kind of top knot. It kind of changes whether or not it's messy. Like today it's pretty neat. It kind of looks more like a ballerina bun, but sometimes it does look like a very messy bun. So if you guys actually want to learn how I do my messy bun or my top knot, go ahead and watch the video that I posted probably like two weeks ago that was my how to do a messy bun for my back to school hair week. And yeah, that'll give you guys that. By the way, if you guys can see a reflection of anything in my glasses, I'm sorry. I've never filmed a video with glasses on, but I just filmed this makeup look, which will probably go up after this video. And yeah, I just got these glasses. They're by Dolce & Gabbana, and I think that's how you say that name. Um, they're by Dolce & Gabbana, and yeah, I just wanted to try them out. I just got them yesterday, actually, and I haven't had glasses in a really long time that I liked. So yeah, I'm just kind of testing them out and I don't know if they're going to reflect any light. I feel like every once in a while while I'm turning my head, it's reflecting on one of my studio lights. So if that's super annoying, I'm sorry. I probably won't film in glasses too much after this, but I mean, hey, glasses are part of me. I'm really blind. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to film in them today. I don't have a ton of stuff to show you guys just because a lot of my favorites I actually took to school with me. But I'm going to talk about the things that I have and then I may insert like a picture or two of things that I took to school with me that I just can't show you in person, but that were definitely favorites throughout the month of August. So the first thing that I was beyond in love with is the combination of the Remmel Wake Me Up Foundation and the Remmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I got these uh, at the beginning of the summer when I went to England, to London, and I picked these up because Every British YouTuber and vlogger or blogger talks about this combination or one of these two products and I have to say I completely love them. I don't know what I'm going to do when I have a hard time getting another bottle of the Wake Me Up Foundation. I'm definitely going to pay whatever it takes on some online sketchy website to get another bottle of this because I absolutely love it. It gives me the perfect coverage and it just gives me a really nice kind of finish and the staying power of this stuff is freaking amazing. I can't even tell you guys how long this stuff stays on your face and really looks absolutely flawless. I've never had that with a foundation before until I tried out these two guys. The shade for the concealer is Soft Beige number 40 and surprise surprise the foundation is the same shade number Soft Beige 200. One of the things that I actually don't have with me and that I had intended to bring home with me this weekend because I wanted to film a look with it is blue eyeliner. So I am going to be hauling this after this video goes up probably. 
But um, yeah, I got this eyeliner from Stila in the blue, cobalt blue shade, I think it was called. And it is one of their Stay All Day liquid eyeliners, which you guys know is a favorite of mine. It's a cult favorite, I think, for people that use it. It's basically the best liquid eyeliner ever. And so I picked it up in the cobalt blue shade, and I literally loved rocking that all through August. I would just do a really nice simple eye, simple lip, simple face, and just do some nice blue eyeliner. I wouldn't wing it out or anything too crazy, but I really loved the effect that it gave me. I didn't think it was as great of a formulation as the carbon black or just the black shade that I have um, from that steel liquid eyeliner, but I did really like it and I liked changing up the kind of eye look that I'd normally go for. Moving into skincare, I did switch up my skincare this summer, and one of the things that I started using was this face wash from Aveeno. So this is the Brightening Cleanser with Moisture Rich Soy Extract from the Positively Radiant line. I love Aveeno face washes. I think that they're really gentle and they're made out of simple products, really similar to the Simple line, but I like Aveeno better than Simple. I don't know why. I've been using this cleanser morning and night because I just really like how gentle it is on my skin. It's oil-free, soap-free, hypoallergenic, and non-comedogenic. It really does keep your pores looking clean and keeping your face clean and just really getting rid of any traces of dirt or makeup. And it's simple, it's easy, and it has a nice kind of foaming quality to it. It does foam up. And yeah, it works really well with the Clarisonic as well. A couple months ago, I picked up this product and I was like, I expected good things out of it, but I really have liked it and I definitely think that I'm gonna end up getting the full size of this. This is the Cinema Secrets Professional Makeup Brush Cleaner. So I am someone that always deep cleans their makeup brushes. I use baby shampoo and I just scrub my makeup brushes clean, run them underwater, and then let them just dry and do their thing and reset. Sometimes I just forget to do it. I just don't get around to doing it or I just don't feel like doing it. I have a ton of makeup brushes and when I start washing some of them, I wash all of them just because I feel like I'll forget which ones I did wash and I'll have to wash them all again anyway. So it's nice to have a kind of spot cleaner for your makeup brushes, especially for your eyeshadows or for like a powder brush or a blush brush or something like that. I wouldn't necessarily use this on a foundation brush with liquid foundation because you really want to get that clean. But this stuff is awesome and it's supposed to clean, sanitize, deodorize, and condition your makeup brushes. So the way that I use this is I just saturate the top of the brush. I do like one to two squirts of this product on there and then I'll just like swipe it in circular motions into some sort of cloth or tissue or whatever you kind of have around that's clean. And then and you just let it dry for like a couple minutes. If you don't oversaturate it, then it dries quicker, obviously. And then I go ahead and use the makeup brush and it's clean. It doesn't have any kind of colors in there that are gonna make your makeup look funky. I mean, people say that this stuff smells really awesome. It does smell nice, but I wouldn't say that it's like vanilla. It like smells vanilla-y, but it almost smells like a little bit like a cleaner too, which is what it is. I mean, I like the scent. I don't think that it really stays on the brushes, to be honest, but it's cool. I have been suffering from getting dandruff and just having a dry scalp overall. Typically, I can leave my hair for three to four days, but it used to be four days and now it's getting closer to three just because I've been washing it more and because I've been noticing that my scalp is just uncomfortable. If I put my hair up and I have bobby pins in there like I do now, it gets really itchy and irritated just because my scalp is dry. Like I could just itch this for five minutes, but that would be really weird and bad for my scalp. Um, but yeah, so I've had an issue with that and I did pick up a like dandruff directed one uh, recently that's at school with me and I haven't tried it out yet, but I do have this one, which is what I picked up and really loved. So after that long introduction, this is the L'Oreal Everstrong Sulfate Free Hair and Scalp System. So this one is a thickening shampoo. It has rosemary and juniper in it. I was looking for one that had mint in it, but I do really like the scent of this one. It does have like that kind of 
not minty, but it you smell the rosemary in it, which is kind of similar to me. And yeah, it's supposed to fortify thinning hair, purify your scalp, and it has an amino acid complex in it. Free, it has no harsh salt, no parabens. It's made out of natural botanicals and it is 100% vegan. So yeah, this one is basically like a shampoo designated for your scalp. It does have those kind of stimulants in it that's supposed to give you thicker hair. It is a very harsh shampoo, I'd say. Like your hair feels really brittle after you're done because it is trying to make your hair thicker. I do really like this. I felt like it did really help with my scalp. But yeah, I do really love this shampoo. This was really great and it's like $7. Moving in to random favorites. At the beginning of the summer, I did a video all about the summer books that I recommend and the ones that I was going to read. And I finally, finally got around to reading the last of the three books that I said that I wanted to make sure that I read this summer. And that is The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Now, this book was so different than what I expected. From the inner flap or the cover flap or whatever you want to call that from the description of it, it seemed like it was only going to follow one character and it actually follows the lives of three women and it talks about how their lives basically intersect into this kind of secret and this like kind of big thing that's within this town in Australia. It's a freaking awesome book. I loved it so much. Basically, it raised these different questions with these different women about what you would kind of do in their situation. That's how I felt reading it. And it was cool. So one wife had like an issue with her husband keeping a secret that she finds out about and that changes her whole world. She has all of this kind of like emotions about how she can no longer be the perfect mom that she always was. And then you have another woman who has all of this social anxiety. She has issues with her husband. And then you have another woman whose daughter was murdered and she's about to lose the one part of her life that kind of has really kept her going in the last like five or 10 years. And yeah, so it's really cool. I mean, it's a really sad book if you don't like things that are kind of sad in a way, like that stress you out, then I wouldn't read this, but it was a really nice read. The book didn't stress me out, but it's just like stressful situations within the book. So that's enough about that. Hopefully you guys got it, but definitely pick this up. It's an easy read, but it's a worthwhile read. I had a couple of different TV shows this month that all kind of had their summer season finale. The first one that really surprised me was actually Young and Hungry, which I think all of them are ABC Family TV shows that I'm watching right now. But yeah, Young and Hungry was the TV show that starred Emily Osment. I'm hoping that it gets picked up for a second season, but it's kind of like up in the air right now if it is. But it was really funny and I really liked the storyline and I thought that it was really kind of different than other things that I watch. It's more of a sitcom almost TV show. It's like a comedy and it's not like the best shot TV show, but it does have a nice kind of cast and storyline and good puns and things like that. And it's really cheesy, but it's really interesting to watch, I think. And then I, of course, have been watching Pretty Little Liars because I've read all those books and I'll never stop watching that TV show. And then I've also been watching The Switched at Birth, which has kind of been just confusing me, but I do still really like it. Um, I don't know if you guys should start watching it though. I'm just like into the character storylines at this point. I very rarely give up on TV shows once I've started watching them. I just get invested and yeah. But oh my God, at the end of September, Awkward's coming back. And Awkward is my favorite TV show ever. I am so excited cause Jenna's gonna get back together with Maddie. Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop dancing. Bring it down. And bring it back. I've had a lot of songs that I've been going through this summer. So let's just see what I've loved for August. Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. Obviously that was a favorite of mine. I've been playing it like crazy, especially at school and like on my drive to school. Rather Be by Clean Bandit was definitely a favorite. Try by Colby Calais. I liked the message in that one. I Want to Get Better by Bleacher is definitely a good one. Um, cool Kids by Eco Smith. Oh my gosh, I loved that song so much. All About You by Hilary Duff. I like that better than the song that she 
had a video for already. Best Mistake featuring Big Sean by Ariana Grande. That has been my favorite song, I think, out of all of Ariana Grande's most recent releases. That's the one that I like the most. This is How We Do by Katy Perry. Oh my gosh, that's like the best like party song right now. And All, uh, all About That Bass by by Megan Trainer. I started off my month obsessed with that about that song. Shower by Becky G. Definitely love that one. And Habits by Tavlo. I think that is it. Those were like my favorite ones. I've obviously had a lot of other songs I've been listening to, but those are my favorites. And those have been a lot of songs, um, obviously. I need a new playlist for September. So if you guys have any song recommendations, leave them down below. Um, I think that is it. So just a little update for you guys. I am still posting my off to college haul and my fall haul for clothes. I filmed those before I left for school, but I just didn't have time to edit and upload them. Oh, another favorite are these bracelets. I got these bracelets from my friend. Um, I think that you can typically find stuff like this on Etsy or you could even make it yourself. They're so easy. They're just like beaded bracelets on like some sort of clear elastic -y string. Definitely a favorite. I've been wearing them all the time. They're just so colorful and I do have like mostly blues in there with some pinks, whites, blacks, things like that. But yeah, if you guys want me to try and like find out how to make these, I totally could. Um, but those were a favorite because I've been wearing them non-stop since my friend gave them to me. So back to the updates. I filmed those two videos, so those will be going up shortly. This past week I planned on filming a dorm room haul before I came back home. But my dorm room has not been finished being decorated. I'm still waiting for pictures to be delivered there. And I'm still waiting to hang up some more Christmas lights, um, which I probably won't even have enough Christmas lights by the time that the video is filmed because I can't buy more until um, people start selling them because it's not Christmas season. But yeah, uh, I have gotten addicted to pumpkin spice lattes already. I went and got one the day that they came out. And what else can I tell you guys? Yeah, I will post on Twitter if I'm sticking to 50 videos a summer. I'll know within the next day of filming this or so. Um, so maybe I'll address that there. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, Instagram and Twitter, because that is where I tell you guys what's going on or when I tell you that a new video is going up. But yeah, I'll probably pick a day to upload all my videos throughout the month. If you guys want to give me ideas, let me know on Twitter and I can always change it around for you guys because I like to give you days when I think that you'll have nothing in your subscription box or days when I know that you'll at least be checking your subscription box around a certain time. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys like my August favorites. I hope that it wasn't too long because it seems like it's going to be. And if you guys had any favorites in the month of August or you just don't want to go back to school, then let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, without further ado, I will see you guys in my next video and goodbye world. Bye.